Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this is not your message, don't force it to fit. And that's another thing here that right off the bat I'm getting is some of you guys, hmm, you don't need to force any relationships to fit here. And some people here, hmm, you might need to trust your intuitions and the feelings you're getting from a certain person. Some of you guys might be attracted to a certain person, but some of the things they do or say, like, you know, you just get a, a icky feeling when you walk away from them. There are certain signs and symbols that be let, might be letting you know that that person isn't necessarily for you. Some of you guys can have a physical attraction to someone who isn't the best lover for you unfortunately yeah that's how true it is but i'm seeing you also got other options here too some of you guys might be healing so that you could recognize and accept a certain amount of kindness here you know but you got a lot of options i'm also hearing though that some people are also playing games with you but they're being warned how do I want to do this? We'll start with the major arcana. First card coming out is the sun card here. That's um, happiness and whatnot. And then right next to it coming out is um, the death card in reverse. Fair new beginnings, negative patterns here. So some of you guys, hmm, you either you're experiencing happiness and success and whatnot. And somebody might have a fear of you having some success without them. You also might have a fear of repeating negative patterns when it comes to love and that might be holding you back. And, you know, when it comes to certain people, yeah. The next card that wants to come out, I guess, is um, the emperor in reverse nomination literally ex excessively controlling hair hmm some of you guys might be trying to control things too hard i'm not really getting the energy of somebody trying to control you some people might have tried light ways of thinking they can control you by controlling your self-esteem you might be dating someone who feels like maybe they could get you to win their approval or something by, you know, I don't know, slightly putting you down. They might be, I don't know. <laughs> Some of these people, though, it's not, you know, it's not giving, they might even, huh, what am I trying to say? Because I could feel a series of people chatting about you, gossiping about you right now. You might be a hot topic. This might be someone you date that likes talking to their friends about you abundance and wealth a lot of people are talking about how successful you are right now though outside of anything that might be something you need to focus on you can date and whatnot and like because you're so successful and you're abundant right now some of you guys might be working your a's off and making money there's something about your work ethic that people like it's like you have a strong energy you might be seeing 444 a lot the angels are there pushing you and holding you up along your path like even when you're tired it's like you still get up and do what you have to do ain't nobody screwing with your focus right now you get into the bag you get into the bag you get into the bag Yes, seeking redemption, preserving forgiveness, rising above problems. Somebody hmm, who might have screwed you over might be seeking redemption. They see a lot of people like you, so they feel awkward for trying to play you, maybe even humiliate you. Somebody, uh, their, one of their friends could have corrected them on how they came at you. Like they could have thought it was funny to try to put you down. Man, she not, or he not, blah, 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 blah. They like, oh, don't say that. Come on now. Why are you doing that? Like that's mad, you know, you know, called them lame for trying to do it. So I'm saying even behind your back, you're getting a certain amount of support. And because other people support you, that makes this person, huh, they want to redeem themselves with you. 
this could be a few people here. This could be a few energies when it comes down to it. Spirit, give me more. Give me, give me more. Give me more. Give me more. More, more, more. The hermit mode. Okay. Domination. Self-reflection, introspection, enlightenment, spiritual contemplation here. Some of you guys might be going, or somebody might want to put you in hermit mode for some reason. Maybe they, hmm, they think that they don't want you to have as many options as you, as you have. Some of you guys are out here dating and whatnot. They want you to be a to yourself person. They're trying to find ways or they could have tried to find ways to make you stick to yourself. Like they thought maybe if they embarrass you or spread rumors about you or do something to you, it will kind of like make you not want to date anymore, not want to put yourself out there anymore. This person wanted to control that and so that i don't know they have some sort of control that's not for everybody here but spirit is saying resist that you know kind of not just put people to the side and then you know go on also try to resist taking things like that personal some of you guys in the past could probably get real stuck in your feelings like wow there's people out here who really want to hurt me but I mean people well like you know and then it kind of you know got a lot of pain out of you and contemplation I'm seeing right now though you might need to entertain if you're not in a relationship with this person don't feel guilty for entertaining other parties when it comes down to it you know you have the right to find what's best for you i'm not saying you have to be sleeping with all these other parties you don't have to be like you know but find what's best for you don't stick to one person Resilience, close to success, courage, persistency, preservation, and stamina. Oh my God. A lot of people are talking about the amount of stamina you have and like how you, you're standing on business because I'm seeing standing your ground right here. Some of you guys might have been through a lot of tests and you passed those tests. Like this could be at work where they're trying to see how well you work. You could have one of those and, um, a lot of people are um, impressed by your abilities here. They're seeing you, some of you guys, as Superman, Superwoman when it comes down to it, you know? There's also somebody here who's, I don't know, it seems like the world is getting to know you and getting to love you, like the world around you. Some of you guys could have been in hermit mode for a minute now, but even in your hermit mode, you might have just been with a different crowd. Celebrations, parties, delight, celebrations, parties, social events, gatherings. Some of you guys are attracting different people into your life right now. Parties, gatherings, social events, friendships. Some of you guys will soon be attracting new friendships right now. There's something about, is very appealing to you, to a lot of people. They're gaining respect for you and your endurance. And not only that, I'm hearing that a lot of you guys show a lot of respect to the people around you. And that's also being looked at here. Even your enemies want redemption with you. <laughs> like, like the people who tested you are starting to feel like, okay, this character is going to be a around for a while. So, you know, I might want to get along with them. Someone here also really wanted your attention. There could be two people here who really wanted your attention. And um, you could have set boundaries with they, these people. I'm saying there's people who might have been too up on you, too in your in your face and in your space. Like you're the type of person where people, they got to walk light with you. They got to be easy with you. Some of you guys here don't like people laying on the BS because you're an authentic person. But a lot of people want to see you succeed. Some of you guys, you know, it's like 
your competition is fading away. Like so, <laughs> some people could have literally got fired or I don't know. Hmm. I did do a um a reading about someone else who was trying you might have been losing your job. I think there's somebody coming in and check my my bad. I had somebody asking me if they needed if I needed anything from the store. A friend was about to come over. <laughs> I'm not gonna be one of those readers that tell y'all all my business, but <laughs> that's another thing maybe you guys are attracting somebody that's a bit more nurturing more huh even when it comes down to you like you know they don't hmm they want to give to you you could have in the past attracted a few people who wanted to take from you yeah see the fool card in reverse folly is the manipulate holding back these people could have been purposely holding back even simple things like love care um anything thinking that maybe you would chase them for it you know you're not going to chase these people for it people some people even thought maybe you were naive <laughs> they they could have been really inconsiderate with your emotions here. I'm seeing I'm like you're at like the final straw with somebody and maybe you are moving on to explore different options. This person can energetically feel that and not only that a lot of people want you at this time period and cuz so many people want you, they kind of want back in to show that they have some sort of domination over you could be dealing with that with a couple of people here so they're just saying continue to stand your ground against these people set boundaries it could be as simple as who do you think you're talking to oh see oh we got the ten of cups here domestic harmony family reunions contentment some of you guys are attracting a peaceful partner that might really be like kind of perfect towards you. Some of you guys aren't used to that type of care and that type of love, respect, and consideration. But Spirit is saying, get used to that. Know you deserve that. Some of you guys might need to clear your energy, do some mirror magic, or what do they call those? Those mirror meditations where you look at yourself. I am worthy of respect and love i am beautiful i am worth marriage some of you guys need to know you are worth being married some of you guys have been beat down so much like about every little thing that you had in your life be it your hair your nose your weight your this your that some of you got a lot of you guys are probably um black females like myself some people could have even beaten you down racially i don't like it i wouldn't marry black women and they wear hair weave and blah 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 oh and ball headed this and that and, you know i'm like just hearing different stuff like or some people has been there your weight i've been through it too some people want to humble you because you're dark skinned some people want to humble you because you're light skinned they want to let you know there's lighter women oh uh oh, you're light skin. I could get a white girl. I could date somebody who's Hispanic and same thing, vice versa. If you're white, Hispanic, black, male, female, going through this, you could be a guy and they're like, oh, I like tall guys here, you know, or I want rich man. You're worthy of love, even if you don't have money yet. <laughs> I hate that people are like, oh, you want us to hold it down. But I'm talking to both people who have been humbled and put down about about themselves some of you guys might have even felt strange and unnoticed just know like on a soul level a lot of you guys i can feel it you're very much worthy of love look at yourself in the mirror believe that i have struggled with that too and because of a lot of reasons in my past because i'm like you know <laughs> i'm like you know i'm like you know oh there's ooh, lots of reasons i could almost want to cry because i really have felt at certain time periods that i had to be perfect i had to have everything 
everything together to be worthy of love. Um, just know you're trying. I'm trying. We're worthy. You don't have to be six five and a millionaire. You don't have to be a supermodel white woman. <laughs> you know, it's okay. Wear your makeup. Wear your weave. Somebody, if you ain't, I'm hearing that song. What is that? I took that booty, that big old booty. <laughs> the, on the booty, what he say? If somebody, if you ain't gonna love me, somebody gonna love me. If you ain't gonna touch me, somebody gonna touch me. You know, if they ain't gonna love you, somebody gonna love you. Mm -hmm. if they ain't gonna touch you, somebody gonna touch you. <laughs> Mike Tyson on the booty. <laughs> that song is funny. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. I think I might pull a few more cards and then we're going to do my angel numbers. You know, I like to close out with some angel numbers. Spirit, what more do you want me to sell a collective right now? I'm just feeling a good vibe come in. Like at first I was feeling like such an energy, but now I'm feeling just like good, mm, like edible, succubal energy right now. Some of you guys, like the sun might be coming out after a long period of time. Exhaustion, exalting, gossipy, playing mind games, scatterbrain. Yeah, could have been dealing with some people gossiping about you. A lot of people, some people trying to play mind games to try to get to you because maybe you are so wanted. There could be a secret team of people trying to compete for you or compete for your position here. You know, but I'm feeling like a lot of people are being told to back off you, like, and being removed from that and people experiencing, like, you know, some people are talking about how easy it is for you to manifest and how certain people talk about you. And then they might just start, get the karma right there and that, but then and there, there's someone here who's done playing mind games with you. They're ready to be with you, you know, no matter what. And someone here is being forced to release their control over you. I'm like that negative energy I'm feeling, it might not be coming from you. Same thing. You might be feeling like tears coming from somebody else based on the way they treated you. Some of you guys might even gotten certain apologies or you might have an apology coming in. Like, some people at first, they felt annoyed on having to deal with you tenderly or whatnot. They felt like they could disrespect you in a certain way for whatever reason. Like, you know, now they're feeling embarrassed. If you recently cut somebody off, they might also be thinking about apologizing to you. They miss your energy. They miss having you around. They thought you would just deal with the BS because they're this, they're that. They had an inflated sense of ego. Nobody deserves to be mistreated and you're not going to deal with it just because they're this or they're that, even if they are that. I'm saying you're doing much better without them energetically. You're making friends. You're having fun. Like Once you cut this person off, it's like, uh, that's when the sun came out. Like you stopped feeling exhausted. You you stopped feeling sluggish. You feel like a lot better without this person. They're trying to play on your emotions. Yeah, this person is giving up control. And you might have added a certain level of, hmm, when you like a person the universe might bless them so that they can bless you back. But when they fail to bless you back and they actually try to take from you instead, this can lead that person to bankruptcy here. This person might be spending recklessly. Hmm, yeah. And at some point, they're, they're about to give up control. They're losing energy. They're losing mana. You're gaining energy and uh, mana. Abuse of generosity, fake charity, selflessness, poor financial decisions, 
some people could have tried to give to you just so that you felt like you uh, owed them hair. You recognize that quickly. You rejected someone's fake charity and generosity. They just kind of wanted a reason to be in your face. Some of these people could have offered you help you didn't need. Like, you know, I'll help you if you blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, I don't know. It's like they just wanted in your aura, your energy field. Some of them wanted to help you just because they thought being nice to you would make you want to sleep with them for whatever reason. That's not the case here. <laughs> you know, they just wanted a reason to be in your face and you might have shut that down and you might have hurt some feelings when it comes down to it. Pull another card just for my little pile is even. I know yeah, I like readings. Wishes coming true, blessings, sanctity, abundance, achievement, material success for you. Nine here. We got the nine of cups here. A lot of you guys are getting your wishes to come true at this time period. I'm hearing it's like the last of certain people's struggles. You might still get haters, but even still, your haters are being forced to back off. I'm about to pull some angel mm -hmm. numbers. Pull some best angel numbers. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for the collective in this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for the collective in this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for the collective in this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for the collective in this reading. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers for the collective in this reading. We got nine, five, nine. I see, and not it could be nine, 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 because the different nine of hearts came out before with the ace, but then I put it back because it fell out here. So um, 959, nine, I'm seeing completion, grow, glow up energy here with the five of diamonds, diamonds hair, lots of material success when it comes down to it. Nine of clubs, standing your ground and winning battles. And we're also going to look up the spiritual uh, meaning of this number. Also realize that this could be someone's phone number, it could be however is significant to you. You know, it can mean different things. I enjoy looking up the angel numbers. Nine, five, nine, angel number. The appearance of angel number 959 signifies that personal growth and self-discovery are essential prerequisites for meeting one's divine counterpart here. So the more you work on yourself, the more you're going to be able to accept your divine counterpart and meet your divine counterpart. It suggests that something important in your life is coming to an end and that it is now opportunity for a new beginning. Take the opportunity and follow your uh, follow your dreams. Be true to yourselves and pursue unique happiness here. Yeah, so yeah, it could change and then the ending of a cycle, that's usually what 999 means and 555 means change. So some of you guys are ending certain cycles. All right, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, help your girl grow. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one, hopefully.